Hello guys, welcome back to Good Show Tips and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix Undown is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch, freezing and structuring, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even black screen and how we can fix all these kind of issues. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about, we have to start with a simple restart. So sometimes a simple restart can fix a lot of issue. So go over here in the icon over here in the start icon, click on this one, go for a simple restart. Once after done with the simple restart, see whether the issue is solved or not. If it's not working, we have to move to the next step. Next step is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file. For that reason, we have to go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now go for installed files. Over here you will be see an option verify integrity of game file. Just click on this one. So what happens is, this is an important step. So this will be cross-checking every single files of the game and they will be cross-checking and making sure if any files are corrupted, if any files are missing. Because these two reasons, any one of the reason can cause crashing issue or even any kind of issues like low FPS drops, stuck on loaded screen and many more issues. So it is an important one we have to cross-check. So this particular step will be cross-check every single file of the game which we downloaded from the Steam and they will be cross-checking themselves whether it is corrupted, they will be fixed, if it's missing, they will be showing us an update option here so we have to update the game that it will be fixed correctly. So over here as you can see, right now 983 files which is which are there in the, this game, it's all successfully validated which means it's good to go with this. So now just close this and launch the game. Most probably when you try with the verify integrity of game file, the issue regarding this has to be worked. So this is what we have to do. Next one is all about, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So instead of launching the game from Steam, which is one of the reasons why many of the users are having the issue, we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So we can navigate to the installation folder from the Steam itself. For that just right click over here, go to properties, go to installed file, click on browse. And now just minimize this one. So you'll be see a folder over here, just expand this will be understood that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common and undown. So this is the game. So right now launch the game from the installation folder instead of launch the game from the steam. So just launch the game from here that will be working for you guys out. So try with this one most probably that's going to work for. If it's not we, need, we have few more steps which can be done which can be done from the same installation folder that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator so for many users when they run the game as an administrator this did work good for them so just right click over here right click and go to show more options go to properties go to compatibility click on run this program as an administrator go for apply and go for ok and try launch the game and see whether the issue is solved most probably not in this game but many in other games like Riders Republic, even uh, many other games, it all helped. So this particular step did help it. So you can try this out. If it's still not working, you can try one more step that is running the game in the compatibility mode. For that, just right click over here, go to show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility. Now from here, click on run this program in compatibility mode. So first select Windows 7 or Windows 8. You can go for Windows 7, go for apply and go for OK. And now change this to Windows 8 as well. Go for apply and go for OK and see whether the issue is solved. So you can either try with Windows 7 or Windows 8. Anyone might be working out. So you can try this out and close this and move to next step if it's not working. Next step is all about we need to try with this one. That is we need to make sure the Windows language is English. So over here go over here in the search. Go for settings. Go for time and language. Go for language and region. Make sure the language is English. So some of you guys might be using native language like Chinese, Japanese, German, even Arabic, which might cause the issue up. So if that is the case, just change the language to English. For that, if it's in another language, you go over here, click on add language, search for the English. And you have to set the language to English and see whether the issue is solved. Or else we can go back over here, make sure the date and time and the time zone are correct. This is an important step as well. Select this one, make sure the time and time zone is correct. So you have to turn this on as well as turn this on as well. So for some users, this might be turned off by default that may be cause the issue. So make sure this is not turned off. Both the things has to be turned on. Once you're done with this one, just close this, 
go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to launch the game using alt and tab so just click on the play button the moment you click on the play button just press alt and tab together from the keyboard this will be working like a charm for you you can try this out this did work it in my opinion for many other games like dead space 2 even for stars were jd etc so you can just click on the play button over here and press alt and tab together that's going to work for you as well moving to the next one is all about we can try with deleting the saved game file for that we just need to go over here go to the file explorer go to this pc go to documents you will be able to find the folder on the game that is undone and if you find the folder just delete it you will be losing all the progressions of the game so you have to start from the scratch but it is fine just delete it and try launch the game that will be working for you guys as well moving to the next one is all about we can try with that is allowing the game to window security for that we just need to go over here in the search go for control panel now from here click on system and security go for windows defender firewall now from here go to allow and empower feature through windows defender firewall from here you just need to keep scrolling down and navigate to undown so keep scrolling down and navigate to undown over here you can see it is private and public so first thing you have to make sure this is private and public so if it is not the game is not here we can add it by default for that just click on change settings go for allow another app go for browse now go over here on local to see now from here this pc go to local to see go to program file x86 keep scrolling down and navigate to steam go for steam apps go for common from here just go for next one that is all about go for undown select this one go for open and we need to add it so i'm getting the error because the game is already added so just add the game once you set and add the game this will be working good so once the game is added just close everything go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to try with unplugging all the usb devices so some of you guys might be connected to multiple monitors or you might be connected to any other thing like logitech wheels etc for any other game so just remove everything including everything should be removed from the usb port launch the game once game is successfully launched just connect back the controllers and try to play the game this did work out for many users so you can try this out as well next one is all about we need to perform a clean boot for that we just need to go over here in the search go for system configuration now go for services go for disable all go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for ok it might ask you for a restart go for restart those who are watching this go for restart i'm gonna go for exit without a restart so you have to go for a restart once restart is done try launching the steam and try to play the game that will be working in most cases or else next step next step is all about we need to disable the steam overlay for that just right click over here on the game go to properties now make sure this is turned off this is an important one if this turn it on turn this off play the game and see whether the issue is solved or else we can move to the next step that is given the command in the launch option the first command is dx11 give the command dx11 launch the game if dx11 is not working change this to dx12 so try with dx11 or dx12 try with dx11 or dx12 or try launch the game next one is all about we need to try with the next step that is all about we need to close all the overlay applications so over here just go over here now go to the task manager right click and go to task manager now from here as you can see there are many things running in the background this will be the same the case for those who are watching this so you will be having tons of things running in the background for example discord many other apps will be running in the background they all utilizes the performance and they are causing the crashing issue so if you find anything unwanted things in the background just remove it for example discord is an example of overlay application and this has to be removed this uh, for example uh, apps like revertuner msi afterburn etc comes under the category of overclocking application you can remove it as well so just remove everything from the background and once after that try launch the game that will be working you guys out as well next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card for that we just need to go over here in the search go for graphics settings from here we just need to add the game go for browse now from here we need to go to this pc go to local to see program file x86 go for steam go for steam apps go for common now from here go to undown 
select the game go for add so once it's added just go for options and we have to go for high performance and go for save now we need to save this up so once you save this up just go over here this is quite important you have to make this particular change once save this one just go over here and try launch the game next one is all about we can try with increasing the virtual memory for that we just need to go over here in the search go for view advanced system setting go for advanced settings once again go for advanced once again go for change make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed go for custom size give the value for initial size as well as maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we need to know what is the ram so ram is 32 gb is the ram so here i need to do a calculation so just multiply your ram so my ram is 32 gb that is why i am multiplying 32 gb so just multiply your ram with a constant value 1024 that brings you 32768 multiply it with 1.5 that brings you 49,152, so just paste it. Next one, multiply 32 GB into 1024, that brings you into this and multiply it with 3, that brings you 98,304, so just copy this as well. Now go for OK and close everything, now close everything and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to update the windows, for this we need to go over here in the search, go for settings. Go for windows update just update the windows it is quite important we just need to update the windows once if you are having any updates like this cumulative update and kb update just fix it up once after that just go for update and once after that just try launch the game next one is all about make sure you have updated the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd over nvidia users just go to this link and go for start search and you'll be getting the versions like this okay so if you have to download the latest version 536.23 which is released on 14th of 2023 on june so just download this one install restart the pc if you're on the amd just go for the same select every details over here like this go for submit and you'll be getting the option like this if you're on windows 11 64-bit edition download this one if you're on windows 10 64-bit edition download this one and install it restart the pc even keep in mind you can add one more step that is called installing Microsoft Visual C++ so I'll be providing link in the description so just go over here and download this one and install this on your PC and try launch the game. So after installing this restart is a mandatory and you can try this out. Even after trying all these things if the issue is still persisting then you can uninstall the game and reinstall the back. For that just go over here right click and go to manage uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing back on the same local disk. You can try the position of local disk. So game is already installed from C, uninstalled from C. And if you're installing back on C, is not going to work. Change the position of local disk and that's going to work for you as well. So these are the possible workarounds which can be done. And I hope this video is helpful. And if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more of these kind of videos. Bye.